Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to call out optional actions with button info. Bootstrap comes with several predefined colors for buttons. The button info class is used to call attention to optional actions that the user can take. Create a new block level bootstrap button below your like button with the text info and add bootstraps button info and button block classes to it. Note that these buttons still need the button and button block classes. Okay, great. So we've got bootstrap linked in here. We've got our custom CSS from the previous uh, from previous lessons, the one on CSS. Uh, we've got a container of flex. We've got our heading that says cat photo. We've got the uh, linked text here. We've got the first image. We've got the second image. And then we have the like button down here. I'm just going to stretch this out because I think it, yeah, you want to be able to see it on a single page. So um, yeah, what they want us to do is create a new button. So we've got. Uh, we can just create the button uh, and we want it to say info I think right and so now we've got a button here now what we want to do is class it up so that it looks like it's supposed to so what what do we need we need to have it be a button we want it to be button block and we want it to be button info cool and there we go so info primary I mean again and the cool thing is with the block buttons one thing I don't think that we, we mentioned earlier is that the block button, when you set the buttons to be block, it makes it so that they're on the same page. If we were to take out the block from here, this is what would happen. You'd have these types of things. And but if like and info are pretty much the same size, but if you go information, then you'll see that the the buttons look really wacky because they're 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 um, different sizes. You kind of want the same size buttons, right? Um, so you want to make this one block and then that makes so like becomes the full page and then this one button block And then you'll notice that actually when you do the two buttons that are blocked there They actually it actually adds space in here as well. And so yeah, if we run the test. I think that passes um, Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything really to go into more depth than that We're basically just creating a new button. Um, you could just keep making buttons like uh, delete and then you could call this one um, you know uh, danger button danger makes it red and then because you see bootstrap has these cool css kind of qualities in it this makes it so you don't have to spend time uh picking colors and you know creating the individual little padding in between here and rounding the corners bootstrap has all this stuff built in and so um this is that's why this is such a, a useful technology uh, if we run the test they pass cool hope you guys enjoyed this one we'll see you in the next lesson